Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from Egat Tech. I know I haven't been uploading videos at the same rate that I used to. I guess real life caught up to me, uh, but I'll try to make it up to you guys by um, first uploading this quick unboxing, and then I have a couple more uh, videos in, uh, in the works for you guys. So let's get started with the unboxing. <laughs> Alright, so in front of me, we've got the Nubia Red Magic 3S. So this is actually the updated version of the Nubia Red Magic 3. Whereas the Red Magic 3s uh, only had the Snapdragon 855, this one has the 855 Plus. Similar to what we have on the Black Shark 2 Pro and the Asus ROG 2 phone. Uh, special shout out to uh, Shandi um, Philippines. They're the ones who um, I got the phone from. I also got the ROG2 phone and the Black Shark 2 from them. And for those who purchased the ROG2 phone from them, they're giving a free uh, ROG or Republic of Gamers t shirt. So check it out, guys. It's a pretty good looking t shirt. So you just need to have purchased the ROG2 phone from them and then they'll give it for free. Alright, so let's get started with the unboxing. So, um, it has the same uh, logo and image on the front and back. Okay, so I actually have the ba uh, box upside down. So, I don't know if you can see it here. This is the 12 gig and uh, 12256 version. Okay, it still has the 5000 mA uh, battery with a 6.65 LED display. Alright, and of course you've still got the paneted uh, fan, so it's a cooling fan, it's the only phone that has it uh, right now without needing a separate accessory for it. So for the ROG2 phone, you need the air cooler to get a fan uh, built in on this one. Okay, so let's open up and see what is in the box. So the box is similar, um, uh, it looks exactly the same as the older Red Magic 3. Wow, and look at that color. Uh, so this is the red and blue version. Kind of looks like purple in some areas, but yeah. Let's uh, slide it out. And it's exactly the same dimensions as the Red Magic 3. Um, of course, uh, this is the only difference. They, they changed the, the way that the vent looks like. And it's still the same fingerprint sensor at the back. And the LED strip still the same. So it's exactly the same except for that blue and red at the bottom. So this color rate is different. So let's uh, boot it up uh, real quick here. So if you notice, this is actually the Chinese version. There hasn't been a global uh, version released yet for the Red Magic 3 yet. I heard that this uh, doesn't have Play Store. So uh, I'll be trying to install it uh, for you guys. So let's set it up real quick here, United States. Okay, let me pause the video so I can put my uh, credentials here. Okay, so I put in the Wi-Fi password. Let's just go in. User experience plan. Uh, I need to agree to this. Yeah, it is pretty long. Don't bother reading it, but yep, agree for now. Okay, um, let's enable location as well and serve um, other service setup so you can just do it again later. I'll just set, do a quick setup for you guys. And now you're asked to provide a Nuvia account. Uh, let's skip it for now, I'll probably do it later. And first glance, it lets you pick between two themes. Uh, let's try this one. I'll let you guys know if you can actually change themes once you've already set up the phone. Okay, settings have been completed. Start your personal trip with Nubia. Okay, so activate, start. Oh, that was a quick setup. So I guess you guys noticed it didn't ask you to put your Google account anywhere. But of course, this is the China ROM. The one ha it doesn't have Google Play Store installed. So I'm going to be spending time trying to get that installed on this phone. Alright, so uh, I guess let's see what else uh, that you see on the box. I got so excited with the color of the phone that I forgot to check what else is in the box. 
So similar uh, to the Red Magic 3, you've got the same Chinese writing. Don't really know what that says. So uh, any any one of you who can read Chinese or Mandarin, uh, let me know uh, in the comment section down below. Okay, so it's very similar to what we have on the Red Magic 3. So if you've watched that video, then yeah, it's uh, basically the same experience. It's all uh, labeled with icons. This one, I assume, will be the charging brick. Uh, okay, so you're supposed to open it from this side. Okay. Let's open that up. Let's have a quick look. And this is... Fifteen watt charger. Um, I don't know. Let. I think I had the faster charger out of the box on that one. Looks looks to be fifteen. Oh, sorry. Um, my mistake. There's a nine and a three there. So this is the twenty seven watt charger. So it's a pretty fast charger out of the box. You don't have to buy it separately. So let's put that back in the box. And you've got the charging cable. So let's see if I can open it up. So it's the same USB-C to USB-C, but then black cable. Um, haven't had time to stress test these from the Red Magic 3, but they do feel sturdy. I hope they, they're going to last longer than other cables. Okay, uh, so put that in the box again and set that aside. And you've got the last one here. You got the ejector pin and yep, same manuals and stickers okay don't really know what that says but yeah one thing you've got is stickers here guys if you want to pimp out your red magic 3s with uh, more stickers feel free to do so i'm not really a fan it's up to you guys if you do get the, the phone let me know in the comment section down below if you do decide to use these stickers all right and i guess that's it that's inside the box set that aside okay so you've still got the dedicated uh game space or the game launcher here so let's try that now all right game acceleration so there are a couple games here uh, let's see i guess it's pretty similar to uh the red magic 3 you've got the fan here I don't know if you, I'll put it next to the mic if you can hear the fan. So that's the max volume. In fact, the intelligent adjustment. Yep. So it's not very loud. So if you're playing games, you're not going to hear that fan uh, at all. I've been using the Red Magic 3, um, not the 3S, uh, for a couple of gaming sessions, and I never heard. Uh, the fan uh, kick in or it might have kicked in but I, I was too busy playing the game to notice all right so you, you can get a recording setting here so you can record your uh, videos if you want to stream it um, on twitch okay so let's turn that off so since this doesn't have the play store um, let me cut away and Try to see if I can sideload the Play Store and uh, let's try to run some tests on the phone itself. Uh, hang on guys. Right, there doesn't seem to be an easy way to install the Play Store on this phone so I'll probably do a bit more research and get back to you all. Though I did download an APK uh, for YouTube so we can test out the sound on this. So let's uh, load up our usual no copyright sound and let's test out the speakers on this one. Uh, that's not the one. Let's go to the side. That is the one. It's my preferred song. So you hear it in a lot of my videos. So as usual, I guess you all know from the Red Magic 3, uh, let's just put that for now. You've got stereo speakers, so they're uh, front firing. It's a good experience when you're watching uh, movies or if you're playing any games.
All right, so I've loaded the same uh, on the ROG2 phone for uh, sound comparison. So let me know which one sounds better to you guys. Um, to me, at ROG2 phone is still the best sounding phone, that much hasn't changed. Uh, the Red Magic 3S still sounds the same as the Red Magic 3. It does seem a bit muffled when compared to, R to the ROG2 phone. But um, if you don't have the ROG2 phone for comparison, then yeah, the, the, the sound gets uh, pretty loud. And it can uh, easily fill up small room when you're playing music on it. And one thing that I did notice and, 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 and I'm excited about is that this actually has uh, gestures enabled, so if you see here, there's no um, navigation buttons at the bottom, so you basically uh, have um, gestures, similar to the uh, what you have on iOS, so swipe from the bottom to go back to home, swipe to, from the bottom and hold, that's going to be your recent, and then your back button so let me go to a browser your back is basically swipe from the left or swipe swipe from the right there and of course um, it's still the same camera so let's take a quick picture and going into the settings yeah it's similar to what we have on the red magic 3 so not much has changed so let me um spend some time i'll try to see if i can get the play store up and running on this and i'll do a couple of um and do to benchmark scores and then we can do that comparison with the rog2 phone and the black shark 2 pro so i don't know if you noticed i did get to install the play store i just side loaded an apk it's not loading at all, so it probably has a, um, the framework that, that's not installed. I'll see what Google has to say about it, and then I'll get back to you guys. I'll probably put up a tutorial as well, or a guide. If you do uh, decide to get the Red Magic 3S, then uh, it's important to get the Play Store up and running on it. Because, um, of course, that's where we download all our apps. So it's, it's going to be cumbersome downloading everything uh, from an APK. We're going to lose out on, on a lot of things. I think it's the same issue that you have right now with the uh, Huawei Mate 30 Pro that one doesn't come with the Google Play Store or Google Framework uh, out of the box but uh, people have found a way to do it so I'll see what uh, I can do for the Red Magic 3S and based on history um, Nupias actually re released the guide to convert the China ROM to Global ROM on the Red Magic 3 so basically you just have to wait for that on the Red Magic 3S, so I can convert this to the Global ROM. But I do like the colorway, so I guess that's it for now. I guess I've got a lot of things to do to get this up and running. But would like to hear your thoughts um, on this, guys. Let me know if you uh, how, how interested you are in the phone. So I guess we'll wrap up here, guys. I've got a lot of things uh, to do to get this up and running. I need to get Play Store uh, to work in the first place. And then we can go ahead and do our usual benchmark test and I'll be doing a comparison with the ROG2 phone and the Black Shark 2 Pro. So stay tuned for that guys and let's end things here. Once again, like and subscribe, hit that bell icon notification, leave your comments below um, for your thoughts, I want to hear your thoughts on the phone and see you all in my next one.